like a Dr. Who, Dr. Seuss type thing, man. Check it out. Joe and Dave, Joe and Dave, Joe and Dave, they like to save. They save their money, they save their food, they save their things, they save their pills. They save their pills, they save their wine. Joe and Dave, they love to save wine, they love to save food, they love to save pills. Joe, Joe and Dave, they save spray paint, they save some glue, they save some pills. They didn't save any Joe and Dave don't save their pills. Yes, they do. They save their pills. Joe and Joe. Joe doesn't save his pills. Yes, he saves his pills. And so does Dave. Dave, Dave. Dave saves pills. Joe saves pills. Dave and Joe save pills. They do. Joe and Dave take pills. They take pills. Joe and Dave take pills. They do. Keep it rolling. Ready, Joe? How do you incorporate a cowbell? Everybody's side talk, you pull out a cowbell, it's like, everyone in the crowd, more cowbell, like the Saturday Night Live skit. No, f that. The cowbell is a powerful instrument when used, well, it's a powerful thing that, that you know, obviously it's originate, it's, it, it originally was a powerful thing. It helped you find your damn cows, first and foremost. I'll tell you this much, you lose a cow, you're losing a f load. I'll tell you, cows are not cheap. Okay, go try and buy a side of damn beef. It's like what, Joe? How much is a side of beef? Twelve hundred bucks for a side of beef. Let, let's just say the cowbell saved a few f***ing cows. All right, but let's just say this. Oh, cowbell! Immediately you're like, oh, Leslie West Mountain. I mean, the cowbell provides a hook. Um, Honky tonk woman. Would that have been more effective on the floor tom with some, you know, girl from art school playing your floor tom for you? Hey, 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 hey. No, but listen to it on the cowbell. Mick Jagger. Okay, the Rolling Stones ring a bell. Cowbell. Well, okay, a lot of people mount their cowbells. It's very simple. You can take a cowbell off the ground, pop it on a floor tom, and it's yours to use. So I'm going to give you an example of some cowbell playing that's a little left of center. Excuse me. You ready, Joe? You got any more of this Gatorade red wine mixture? Thanks, man. Here we go. I listen to a lot of Miami Sound Machine. They use a lot of cowbells in Miami Sound Machine, so... Just one part Gatorade, then a half bottle of wine. Thank you. Absinthe too. No absinthe. Wow. And then Listerine. Oh yeah. A great homemade cocktail that Joe and I invented is a mixed berry um, Gatorade, just a thimbleful, and. Um, Half box of wine. We don't. We buy wine by the box here in the Midwest because we don't know anything in the Midwest. It's like if, if it didn't happen months ahead of time out east or west, we wouldn't even know a f thing. Thank you so much, New York and and LA for teaching us how to live. We would be so lost without your, you know, films that finally make it out here after they've been running in your town for so long. And by the way, thank you so much. We finally got those Budweiser commercials with the frogs, going Bud. Well, I heard those have been out for like a couple months out east, but we just got those. Those are really funny, I have to say. So thank you. Thank you, East Coast, for sending us those Budweiser frog commercials. Finally, you know what I mean? I had heard about those, you know, Joe, because today things move so fast. You, know, you can hear about that shit. And second later, it's on somebody's blog, you know, and bam, you got the Budweiser frog. Well, we finally got them on mainstream television out here, the Budweiser frogs and... Holy cow. And this new thing, this company, Geico, they got this lizard. Oh my God, is he funny. He's a gecko. He's a, oh, he's a gecko. Okay, I thought he was just a lizard. Oh, that makes sense because it's Geico. See, I wouldn't have even known that. Joe actually just took a trip out east and he found that out for us. He's been telling us a lot about this stuff. We're like, no way, Geico is a gecko. <laughs> like, look at that. That shocked me. Anyway, what, what I was basically getting at, what was I getting at? 
Like yeah, this drink, you, 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 half a box of wine, some Gatorade, and uh, half a bottle of Listerine uh, Cool Mint. Not original flavor. That's a harsh original flavor Listerine. And um, is that it? Yeah, it's called a Pistol Whip. Yeah, it's the Pistol Whip. Check it out in New York and Los Angeles when you're having your parties out in Bushwick. <laughs> Try and hang with that drink. We drink that and then we go drive our cars into lakes <laughs> under the ice. Basically, right there, I fucking called home every cow that's ever escaped from every pasture in the world. You know what I mean?